Congratulations on the movie. Thank you. So excited for you, Journey. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, it's been a long time coming, girl. <laughs> and that star and roll, girl. Yes, your name is up there on the marquee. Aww, yeah, so what does so this sweet. mean for your career? Um, you know, I think it's just such a great opportunity for me to, to just, you know, stretch as an artist, really, mm -hmm. and grow deeper in my art. Judith is a character unlike anything I've ever played before, right? Really. You know, right. it's a film unlike anything I've ever done before. And so I think it's a different side. It'll be nice for people to see, you know, just a different side of my craft. Yes, and you are dark and sexy in this one, girl. Oh, well, you said it. I yes, you are owning it. Does that, <laughs> does that have anything to do with the fact that you are now a wife? Huh, you know, it's funny. I have gotten that comment of like, something's different now that you're a <laughs> wife. But, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I equate everything being better now that I'm married. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so, that's so beautiful. Because yeah. sometimes like, the right person can bring, you know, great things out of you. So, obviously. Oh, and Josiah definitely does that. With he me. does definitely. that. What tempted you about him? Oh, his handsomeness. <laughs> um, honestly, the way we met, uh, we were introduced by a friend, and we were friends first. We were best friends first Important. before we even started dating for years. Mm -hmm. And so I got to know him, and he got to know me and all my flaws. And um, I think, you know, initially, it was just a friendship, which is, the I think, the one of the best ways to begin. Absolutely, absolutely. And you are young. You are in your 20s, and mm -hmm. this movie is so great. It's brilliant the way it targets, you know, that audience. It targets, you know, people that are in their 20s because when you are, Lord of mercy, yeah. you're trying to find yourself. Yeah. You know, you're trying to figure things out. Is mm -hmm. that one, one thing that attracted you to wanting to work with this, other than the fact that it's Tyler Perry? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I wanted to work with Tyler on For Color Girls, but I was shooting for Friday Night Lights. Mm -hmm. And um, then when he called me about this, it was a great opportunity to, you know, express things that young people go through. Yeah. You know, I have so many friends who have gone through situations like this, who a guy comes along and he whispers, you know, a few things in your ear and just makes you just, you know, do things. Lose your you, mind. Lose your mind. Yes. And start acting cray cray. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, um, and for all those reasons, in addition to the fact that it just was a challenge for me. This was definitely mm -hmm. a challenging role. And that's what you look for as an artist. You what want it, that challenge. What was the hardest part for you? Was it the fact that, you know, she cheats on her husband or was it? It was all of that. Emotionally, um, it just is a very emotionally complex character. Mm -hmm. And all the different colors of her starting off so confident on a foundation and yet going through the the colors of her starting to doubt who she is, mm. her appearance, her marriage, her relationship, the neglect she feels at home. I mm. mean, and then that leads to all these other troubles. Yeah, those those were those were challenging uh, things to take on. Absolutely, and sometimes I believe it can be challenging when it hits close to home. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, have you ever, as a woman, because mm -hmm. so many of us have, mm -hmm. you know, struggled with you know insecurities or trying mm -hmm. to find yourself or find your confidence? Oh, definitely. When, you know, I was younger, everyone goes through a really awkward stage, you know, when you're a teenager. Mine just lasted, <laughs> it felt like, for a really long time. And um, I had just really bad acne and all these different doctors and people used to tell, oh, do this or do that. And mm. it got to a point where I didn't want to go outside. You know, I didn't mm. want to go to the grocery store and, and things like that. Um, Luckily, you know, I found proactive. <laughs> sister got help. Sister got, a, sister got a spokesperson job too with proactive. Let's Which, not forget about who that. Knew? You know, that listen, would come along. Listen. Yeah, no, but most importantly, I got clear skin. That's all that really <laughs> that's matters. What, that's what really matters. That's what really yeah. matters. Okay, okay. But you know yeah. what? So, so yeah. I mean, those were definitely insecurities and things that I struggled with. But I think, luckily, I did have a mother who really tried to teach me that none of that stuff is important. Like, you gotta have this inner, this inner strength, this inner confidence, where it's like, your hair could be just everywhere, <laughs> and it's okay. Yes. It's imperfect, and there's beauty in those imperfections. Absolutely. There was a great line in the movie where Robbie Jones asked you, and this is in my Robbie Jones voice, what do you dream about? <laughs> 
Yeah, very good. So I would like, thank you. I've been working on that. Thank you. So would you would you wrap it up and you know answer the question for us? What do you dream about, Journey Smollett Bell? Mr. Bell. All right. <laughs> all right. I mean, aside from all of him, you know, I just yeah, I have I have dreams and and just ambitions to just do what I love and continue doing what I love to do. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Mrs. Bell. <laughs> Thank you. We'll go see the movie. Thank all right, you. March 29th. March 29th. Thank